Welcome back to Living Well with Dr. Judith Cornelli. For those of you that are new to this channel, normally I'd be sharing an easy vegan recipe, but this week I'm at a leadership conference in San Diego. So I'll be sharing some highlights from my trip, including the places I went to eat, as well as some tips on how to survive as a vegan traveler. For all of the details, please check out the caption below. And if you haven't done so already, hit that like and subscribe button. Now, are you ready to go on an adventure? I arrived late the night before, so my body is still adjusting to California time, and I ended up waking up early and made my way down to Little Italy to have breakfast at Cafe Gratitude. I love the concept of this restaurant because I'm a big believer in the power of positive affirmations. As you walk in, it's bright and the decor is inviting with lots of little touches of positive thoughts everywhere. There is also a to-go area where you can pick up different types of drinks, sweet treats such as muffins and cookies, and they even have granola which you can take home and I love that. Once I continue to walk into the restaurant and I sit down, I start to take a look at their extensive menu. I decide to order I Am Gifted, which is a beet juice made with beets, pineapples, grapefruit, ginger, and lemon. I will definitely be making this at home. This drink is full of nutrients and tastes great. As my chilaquiles and fried mushroom and waffles arrive, I am delighted. I love the fact that the server stated positive affirmations based on what I ordered. She told me, you are hospitable and you are festive. My chilaquiles was full of flavor and it was taken over the top with the cashew crema and tomatillo sauce. And the showstopper of the day was my mushroom and waffles. It was the perfect blend of sweet and savory. I really enjoyed my time at Cafe Gratitude and I will definitely be back. My number one tip as a vegan traveler is to plan ahead. Do your research. Look for vegan friendly restaurants in the city that you plan to stay in. Don't get me wrong, I love to be spontaneous. But when you're hungry and you're trying to figure out where you're going to go and you're looking for something that's vegan and you're having a hard time, it doesn't make for a great feeling. So you don't wanna get hangry on your trip. After breakfast, I headed to the San Diego Zoo. I've always wanted to go to this zoo and I was like a big kid in a candy store. Once I arrived, you could feel the excitement in the air. For a weekday, it was actually pretty busy. I initially walked around, then I decided to take a ride on the tram which was a great way to go around the zoo and soak up the atmosphere. Also, it gave me a chance to rest, which was really nice. I eventually got off and walked around some more to get a closer look at all of the animals as well as the plants. As I continued to enjoy my surroundings, I was reminded of how important it is to make time for the simple things in life, including self-care. This conference is definitely going to keep me busy, but squeezing in time for a great breakfast and fulfilling a childhood dream truly made my day, and I'm so thankful my friend came and supported me along the way. Later that evening, I made my way to a seafood joint as I enjoyed the scenery. You're probably wondering, why is a vegan going to a seafood place? Well, while vacationing with a group, you may not always go to a solely vegan restaurant. I recommend scoping out restaurants that have at least a few vegan options, and if there are none, my tip is to ask the chef if they can make you a vegan dish, and they are usually accommodating. The next morning, I get myself together for the first full day of the conference. I'm very excited because I love educating myself even at this point in my career. While getting ready, I start stating affirmations in my head. This is a normal routine that I do every morning, and I also encourage my son to do the same thing. It's time to head out and get started. 
The day has been extremely busy, but I managed to find pockets of peace in between lectures. I also enjoy lunch outdoors, which is really nice. Today, similar to all of the future conference days, I will have a salad or sandwich and light snacks. Once the lectures are complete, I head back to my room and I get some much needed rest. It's a new day and I feel very rested. Once the workday has ended, I excitingly go to Donna Jean. This is a highly rated plant-based spot in San Diego where many of the things are made in-house, including the cheese. I get started right away by indulging in mac and cheese. It's good, but I say I had better in Seattle. However, the rest of the food blew me away. I tried the Fungazi pizza, which was brought to life with mozzarella, ricotta, parmesan, and truffle cream. Then I had the ravioli caprese. Baby, can you say winner? The tomato beurre blanc took it over the top. If I had some bread, I would have done it Haitian style and wiped the plate clean using my bread. <laughs> Lastly, I had the panna cotta. Guys, guys, I don't know what to say except bravo. This was a refreshing last dish that kept me wanting more. So I'm headed to La Jolla. I'm super excited because it's supposed to be really nice. And this will be a little piece of sanctuary for me on this trip. I can't wait to see the beaches and try some of the delicious food. During my stay, it's been pretty gloomy in the early mornings, but that did not take away from the beauty of La Jolla. I truly enjoyed my visit to this part of San Diego. The beach was gorgeous. I love seeing the sea lions and just walking around made me so happy. My other tip is to pack a lot of snacks. Sometimes I'll pack them in my suitcase or if I know there's a local grocery store, once I land and I get settled in, I'll go to the store and get some of my favorite snacks as well as lots of fruits and veggies. And if I'm staying in an Airbnb, even better. I will make sandwiches, I'll make some of my favorite foods in advance so that way when I get home, or if I want to take it with me, it's already prepped and ready to go. And if you're going to a theme park, a zoo, having your snacks bought in advance will number one, ensure that you have vegan options, but also number two, save you lots of money. After walking around a lovely seaside village and visiting a couple of shops, I worked up a healthy appetite. I trotted along to Trilogy Sanctuary, a rooftop cafe in La Jolla. I ordered my food and while it was being prepared, I checked out the boutique, which had lots of nice things such as a vegan journal. I also took in the beautiful views from the rooftop. Once my food was ready, I started with the Quenrizo con huevos. Although I did not care for the cauliflower eggs, I love the other components of the dish, especially the quinoa chorizo. My pancakes were a sweet ending to a great breakfast. They were topped with banana, strawberries, peanut butter, cacao nibs, and coconut flakes. Everything was so delicious, and when I was done eating, I stayed on the rooftop for a little bit. I walked around and I also noticed there was a nearby yoga class. I love that Trilogy Sanctuary seems like a family and the atmosphere was so welcoming. Everyone there was so nice and I couldn't ask for more. And my last tip is to be a little bit flexible. You may not necessarily always find what you want, but as long as you have a healthy vegan option, that's what's most important. I've vacationed in so many places as a vegan and I've had a wonderful time. Some places it's easier to find vegan food and other places it is a little bit difficult. But nonetheless, I still found something that I love to eat and I was very happy. After breakfast, I took a quick trip to Balboa Park. 
This was a great way for me to burn some calories and I got to enjoy the lovely gardens. This was one of my favorite places to go to in San Diego outside of La Jolla. Overall, this day was like a dream. I had great food and the scenery was just beyond what I expected. Before catching a late flight, I had dinner at Kindred. I started off with a seitan skewers, which were topped with chimichurri, harissa, and a horseradish aioli. I normally don't like seitan, but this was really good. And my passion fruit lemongrass drink was a 10 out of 10. Kindred really knows how to make their drinks. I finished off dinner with a mushroom blend as well as saffron sushi rice. For dessert, I had snickerdoodle cookies which were filled with marshmallows. I really enjoyed this trip. I ate a lot, I learned a lot, and I was able to enjoy a lot of San Diego. If you have any questions about any of the places I visited, leave it in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for more videos for additional recipes. I can't wait to see you next time.